Hey crafty cuties, welcome back to Paper Terrace. If you're new, I'm Jessica. Today, we're gonna take a deep breath. Everyone, do this with me. Take a deep breath, one, two, three. I'm sure you needed that just as much as me. So today we're gonna do some journaling and I'm super excited to do a little bit of personal journaling. This is something I don't get a lot of time to do anymore and I wish I did. I have my photos printed because I am using pictures, but I wanted to show you the cute little printer that I'm using. I think I have a full review on this, so if you want to see um, more about it, but it was like in the $100 range, I think, and it's just the cutest little thing. It's convenient, easy to use, and then the picture quality is good. Now, these photos, it did say that, the, that these were low resolution. So it does depend on like your camera quality. I think they weren't like super in focus, but to me they look good. So I'm fine with that. But yeah, I have my, a little insert that I've been using out of my personal journal. I do have a couple leaves that my kids and I picked up the other day when we were, um, when we were on a walk. And then I have my pack from my October Patreon pen pal pack here. So I have things in here and I want to try to use those, incorporate them, but we're just going to go with it. And I'm going to see what page I would like to start on. Just something basic here would be good. Maybe this, I like kind of the ripped craft. Let's see. I think that's what we'll do. Yeah, I think we're going to go for that. Okay. So let me figure out like exactly what I want to. I have some cheesecloth and embellishments, things like that, little label. Let me figure out how I want to incorporate these. When I do have this postcard. So I like the idea of using this. So sometimes when I'm trying to figure out um, a layout, I will just start placing things on the pages. And I do usually like to use two pages, but I keep my layouts pretty simple, I think. But I love having things that are completely ready for me to use. Maybe something like that. I know I want to incorporate at least one of the leaves, maybe two, but there might not be room for two. Let's see, maybe if I this one down here something like that because I do want this as well maybe this could be a pocket of some sort although then you would see whatever whatever we put behind the pocket but that might still work actually because I do want to have something for journaling like I was thinking of having this Let's see, maybe, ooh, that doesn't, that might work like behind. So if this was a pocket, you could still have things up here, but I want the photo to show. So like I could go like that, or that could just be on the page. I'm just trying to decide. Yeah, and then maybe a label up here. I might, sometimes you just gotta go for it. So I'm going to remove, remove. I think I'm going to start by, I want to have the leaf on here pretty good. I have some Mod Podge. I think that's what I'm going to use. Actually, let me see if I have a different white blue. Yeah, because this one's matte and I do want it to be matte. So let's see if I can open that up. And I do have a brush. Okay, so I'm just going to kind of brush behind. A big enough area to put the leaf down. Kind of up as far as I can. And then I'm also going to seal it. This will help so that it doesn't crackle or anything, but there is always going to be the risk when you're using leaves just like this that, you know, over time they definitely might have some wear and tear. That is why I like to press things. I feel like I need a lot more glue underneath. But I felt like for the effect I was going for, since I already have some pressed leaves, 
but it would be nice to have something just directly on the page too. Okay, I think that's gonna be okay. There are a lot of doggies barking today. And maybe this one could just be like peeking out, I guess. Yeah, so you definitely need enough of that to be pretty wet while putting the leaf down. Okay. Yeah, this one doesn't seem to be sticking too well, but I think what I'm going to do, and this will dry clear. I know it's... Uh, not showing up clear right now. I'm going to add some of my favorite glue underneath here because that will definitely hold it in place. So I'll have to try to get a good after photo to show you what this spread's going to look like once this all dries, but I'm not too worried about it. Yeah, this just isn't sticking too well, but that's okay because sometimes this stuff happens. And we're just going to work around it. It's going to be fine. Okay, so let's see. Let's start with our pocket down here. And I'm just going to actually add glue to the this down here and then up the side. There we go. There we go. Okay, sorry, I was concentrating. I know that I want to add this up here and I might use some cheesecloth behind it. A little bit of the yellow, I think. And I'm going to try to separate a couple of the layers because there are a lot of layers in here. And then add glue on the back of this. Messily. Just kind of go like that just for some added color. And that's, I think I'm going to write maybe the date on there or something like that. Yeah, I'll probably do the date. All right, these darn leaves. <laughs> I didn't expect that, that's for sure. I thought they were going to stick down much better. I've done this before, so I don't know what the deal is. But if we have to take, like, this one looks like it's going to work out, but the bigger one, for some reason, I'm not sure. Yeah, this one will. It's sitting. I could take it off though. And like I said, the Mod Podge stuff, it'll it'll dry. So it's gonna be fine. Could add a little piece of washi tape across the stem also. So I'll grab some of that. And I'm gonna grab one right out of reach here. You can't see me. And it's this fabric one. I'm just gonna take a little snip here. Whoops. Sorry, I gotta cut off camera real quick. Wow, what are the dogs barking about today? Okay, just kind of like that. And that will help hold that down. Okay, yeah, this one's annoying me, so... Uh, how annoying. I'm just gonna take that off. <laughs> we'll just put it over here. Maybe I should have sealed it first and then tried to glue it down. Actually, maybe that's what I've done before is put Mod Podge on the leaf, like let it dry and then glued it down. I think that might be what I've done. Now we have this part right here. That's cool. <laughs> it's okay though. We do have a pocket, but now I'm trying to think of how I want to cover this up because I don't like that. You know what? I'm just going to go for that. I'm just going to glue that down, although I might need a little... Oh, I could have made it a flip. Well, no, because it's all gluey. Gluey. 
Well, I could still do it. That's okay. I'm going to glue it down because I like the postcard. I think it's pretty and I think it goes enough with the uh, theme that it works. There we go. Okay, we're going to do that. And I might just add our photo on that, I think, and then this one over here. And even some more cheesecloth maybe behind this photo. So kind of like right there. Sticking out and then I do have like embellishments and things, but I think this one, that cheesecloth keeps getting on everything. I think this has enough going on that I don't need to add any more embellishments or anything like that. There we go. There's lots of little pieces everywhere. Okay, so I think I'm just going to add this down. It's starting to feel like fall here and I'm loving it. It's like so cool out and just really beautiful right now. So beautiful. We went on a walk last night and it was just like, I couldn't stop taking pictures of my kids outside because it was so pretty. Okay, for this, I think I'm gonna staple that down. Um, just right on the postcard itself. But kind of like in a little bit. If I wanted, I could also tuck something kind of behind the photo now because that would hold it on. And I could put a staple down here just in case I decide to do that. There we go. I might even need to give this postcard a little staple because it's just not wanting to stay. And I don't know if it'll go in all the way up here. Let's see. Can you reach? Can you reach? There we go. Yeah, that's better. Okay, so it's a little sideways, but that's okay. So we need to date stamp it. And we're going to say October 2022. There we go. Now, get a little ink. Hopefully this one will be dark enough. It's a blue. Um, broken china hoping I can just I should have date stamped this before putting it on here but I think yeah that's fine all right so remember we have this pocket here and that's where I can do some of my journaling I'll ha I do need this to dry up here but I want to have an idea for what I'm going to put down there and I have a few things Oh, you know, actually, I have, like, our tickets from this day and receipt, so I'll probably somehow add those, but I'm seeing how that would look. I can make this even smaller. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that, and I'm going to ink up the edges of this. I'm just grabbing some ink. I don't need to decorate this too much because I'm just going to do journaling on it, but, you know. Ooh, I have an idea too. Since I do have this one, maybe I'll attach these in a way. And this will be dangling here. Yeah, I think I'll do that. So I'm going to tie this. Okay. You know, that would be dangling. I can adjust it if I need. I'm trying to see how far. And then I'm going to do my journaling off camera. But I think we can get an idea that can slide down there too. And so, you know, the picture is going to be somewhat covered, but not actually not too bad. And then you can pull this out and read it. So I think that worked out really good. Um, 
definitely it's always not like how I pictured it but I like how it turned out and I do hope that this inspired you some way to do personal journaling if you like to or creative journaling whatever you like just know that you can keep it as simple as you want you can put as much time into it as you need and just doing this is so therapeutic and it's so nice to look back on these. So I hope that I inspired you in some way and I appreciate you guys, your support, and I will talk to you later. Bye guys.